What's up guys, it's Drak, and we are all big fans of the Rival line here at the channel. I love the Rival line. I like that the ammunition is easy to feed in just about anything. Since it's symmetrical in its design, you can load it however you want. Makes it very easy to store like in loadouts. It's really like omnidirectional, highly versatile, and very hard to destroy. The big issue with the Rival line is that the ammo is so expensive. It can cost you a ton of money just to buy enough rounds to reload certain blasters to the degree that it often makes more sense to just buy blasters sometimes for the reload kits. That said, uh, I have made multiple reviews of knockoff ammo in the past. Now, I made a review of something called cornucopia rounds, which I don't even think are being made anymore, and they were okay. Then I made a review of some headshot ammo, which was their first batch of headshot ammo. Some of it was way too squishy, some of it was a little bit too firm. They took that advice into account, and then now we're years later down the line, and they sent me this to review. Oh, wow. All right, so uh, I was going to do a cute jump cut thing, but this thing is heavy. So it says on it, caution over 25 pound uh, limit, whatever, I mean, that means that it weighs more than 25 pounds, so I'm a little bit concerned, because I don't know how you get more than 25 pounds of any sort of ammo. Like, I've had garbage bags full of Nerf darts, and they did not weigh that much, and Nerf darts are full of rubber, so this is going to be really, really interesting. Oh my goodness. Wow. So, inside we have... A manila envelope, which undoubtedly has some important stuff inside, and then what appears to be just a ton of ammo. Like, you guys are ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Oh boy. The really cool thing about the headshot rounds is that they've started doing these multicolored rounds. That is to say that these are blue and white, and these are yellow and red. So that is really cool that you now have multicolored ones, but they've got a whole spectrum of different colors that you can choose from. These are all sorts of different colors. They have a veritable rainbow of these, and it looks like they're all coming in packs of 110. Now, occasionally they have sales and all sorts of stuff going on so that you can get them much less expensive, but there's just so many rival rounds here. I promised them that I would showcase a few of these at End War, so some of them are going to have to come with me to End War to be like showcase ammo where I can show all of the different colors that they have in their store, but you will notice that there's a plethora of the red and yellow hybrid rounds, and that's because these are coming to End War with me. So, pretty basic paintball pods. These are the super cheap variety, and they tend to hold rival rounds pretty well. Now, each one of these packages comes with one of the headshot ammo, uh, I guess, bags. These are utilized as kind of a carry pouch if you don't have another way to hold your ammo. That is to say that these are little mesh baggies that you can use to attach to your belt, and they all come with locking carabiners so that they will not fall off of your tactical gear. I'm going to be using the paintball pods, and we're going to just check this out. Since paintballs are much smaller than rival rounds, you can never fit as many as the thing is rated for, but I should be able to fit about 50 in here or so. Now, a loose fit is important because you want them to roll out just as easy. So there's a few in one pod and a few in another pod. And it looks like about 50 per thing is accurate as I have about 10 left over in the package. So this is just how I'm going to be utilizing them at End War, but there is a ton of ammo here. In fact, over 25 pounds of ammo. So the seam on the multicolored rounds is pretty good. You can definitely tell where it is. Then you've got a very um, subtle HS here instead of the Nerf logo that is for headshot ammo. But let's take these outside. They are much, much more consistent now in their squishiness. And I think that these are a much better batch. They've told me that their formula has improved greatly. But I'm going to take out my pods of headshot ammo. I'm definitely going to go out and see how they fire because this is the new formula and I want to make sure that they work really, really well for end war let's go alrighty guys so to finish up this video I'm gonna do a quick comparison of the headshot ammo to regular rival ammo and I've loaded them up into separate pods so for starters we're gonna load maybe a few into 
the Sauron's Hopper of the Rival Ammo, and I'll show you ballistically like how good those are at hitting the Cups. Cups are at a pretty reasonable zombie engagement distance right now. Let's go. And I tried to leave a few Cups, which is why I aimed high at first and then brought it down. Man, it's kind of foggy out here. It's weird that that's happened in the Nemesis Hopper. Then we've got some genuine rounds here. We'll go ahead and load a few of those, and I'll show you that ballistically they perform more or less the same. So should be able to uh, set this up here. And we're going to get a very similar kind of hop up out of this and should be able to fire at least as accurately. I don't think that the headshot ammo is necessarily better, but it's certainly more consistent in a few ways at this point. And so again, you still get some of that hop up, but that's more or less the same. Now, I am going to take both of my pods over here and we're going to fire into the distance. We should get some pretty serious range out of this modified blaster. However, my purpose here is to show you that in mixing these, we will get a similar grouping down range, which is to say that they get similar ballistic ranges and trajectories. So let's go ahead and oh, I'm going to lose some rounds and I'm going to be sad. We'll start with the headshot ammo and just fire at that tree like so. So we hit the tree definitely in our grouping uh, as I slowly drifted down because I didn't want to lose some of these into the woods seemed to move kind of in a, a grouping about five feet to this side and five feet to this side, but we'll walk it off in a second. There are four rounds left. And there they are. They're all bouncing into the woods. I'm going to be so sad, especially since these are the far more expensive nerf rival rounds, but I would do anything for you guys, even waste a bunch of rival ammo. Let's go. Then we'll dump those last four in. Alrighty, so for the sake of consistency, how did our grouping turn out? Lots of rounds over here, I'm sure. Oh man, they're just everywhere. So we'll start here. The, the closest one appears to be a headshot ammo shot. And then right here we have a rival round. So that's genuine here. Nope, that's headshot. And genuine, and genuine, and headshot. So as I'm looking around, I'm seeing that these two are genuine. That's genuine, genuine, genuine. It seems like the headshot ammo might have gone further. Because as we come over here to this line where it seems like some of them bounced to, these are all headshot, 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 darn. The average for these seems to be very similar, very comparable to the way that they bounce. Unless I was willing to like lay out some sort of adhesive and try and shoot into that, it would be very difficult to determine. So these are genuine. And there's a headshot round over here. So in general, I am happy to say that since these are cheaper and come in a variety of flavors and colors, I can imagine absolutely no reason to buy genuine rival ammunition from like Target unless you absolutely need it that day, that day. However, headshot ammo is available in the description box below. If you happen to have Amazon Prime, and these days I don't know why you wouldn't, especially since it's, I think, uh, really cheap for students, and a lot of my viewers are in school, either high school or secondary school. Um, it's awesome. So I would pick your favorite color and start shooting headshot rounds because they're clearly just as good, if not a little bit better, and they are cheaper by and large, and you can get them delivered to your door. So I'm a big believer in that kind of convenience. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I do want to thank Headshot Ammo profusely for sending out all of these rounds for me to use at End War and show off with all my friends and share with some of my friends. It was really kind of them to send that ammo for me to use and I really, really, really appreciate it because I shoot a lot of rival ammunition out of modified Nemesis, Nemesis, and uh, it is sometimes challenging to feed such behemoths. So really means a lot to me that they were willing to send this stuff along for me to utilize at End War. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Headshot Ammo. They've got a website and I'll link to their Amazon in the description box below. Much love. Nerf on. Drack out.